Hi, my name is Andy, and on today's video, we're going to cover the speaker towers that I have throughout the room and explain why I have them, where I have them, why I designed that particular style, what's inside the speaker towers, and we'll see if we can answer the questions that are surrounding the speaker towers. So I mentioned before in other videos, the setup that I have, uh, the speakers that I have wired for this room, it's wired for 9.2.4. So that's nine speakers surround, two subs, and four, you know, for the Dolby Atmos speakers up in the ceiling that I haven't installed yet, but it's wired for it. Um, but the speaker towers that I have, I have six towers throughout the room, and uh, the speakers in the front, they're, well, these kind of look like a speaker tower, they're part of the stage, and there's just the fabric material, just, just like this kind of fabric, so that the sound can get through here, but actually the speakers are, they're behind the screen, not in the, uh, not on the side of the, of the stage. So while it looks like it's meant to look kind of like the speaker towers that I have throughout the room, uh, there there's nothing in there. But in here, uh, these towers, it was a compromise between the style that I wanted and the speaker that I wanted to put in there and the room that I had available to me. Um, because this room is so small. Um, it was about, oh, I forget the numbers. It's about 11 feet wide or so before I started construction. But then when you add that wall and you add this wall in and then you've got the, the 5 8 layer of OSB, then 5 8 of drywall, and then another three quarter inches of this wainscot. I mean, it starts to, it doesn't sound like it much, but it starts to add up and the room gets just a little bit smaller incrementally. And what I didn't want is these speaker towers to and crowd, uh, you know, make the room feel even smaller than they are. So they're as shallow as I can make them, but they are designed to, to be this, the, the speaker tower that they are. And the speakers that I have in there, I, well, actually, let me show you. So this panel is just, it's just removable. It's meant to just come off. And mostly so I can service these speakers if I ever need to or replace them. Uh, what I've got in here is just a speaker box that I had built out of, out of MDF and then put these clip, uh, these are uh, RCW-3s, um, a little bit older clip speaker, I don't, I don't think they make these anymore, um, but put these in here and you can even see, well, see how the, this is just drywall back here, um, and then the speaker wire that's, that's set up for it. This, there's nothing fancy to the speakers, the boxes themselves. Uh, I put all the work into the towers to make them look as best as I can. Um, because once you put the, the grill on here, you don't really see any of that. So there's really no point in going overboard on, on designing these boxes. Um, but again, just a box to, to put the speaker in. And then I can take this out and put a different speaker in here if I wanted to upgrade down the road. And then to hold these on, I just have magnets just mounted in here. And then on the back of this panel, in fact, this is nothing to be excited about either. It's just, it's just some uh, framing basically for like a, like a picture. Uh, just make a frame out of that and then just stapled the material on the back um, of, of this frame, the, the speaker, this GOM material, this Guilford of Maine uh, black uh, material. And then I've got little screws in here to, to, to mate up with the, the magnets. And just like that, it sits right in there. Um, I haven't, they've never fallen out since I've, since I built the room, I haven't had any problem. You don't really touch them. So there's no reason for them to be super secure, but they, they can re be removed easily. And I can service those speakers if I need to, uh, for the rest of the room, it's the same style of speaker tower. As you go around the room, another one here, and then back here in the, in the back two corners. And then along that wall, uh, there are nothing in these right now. It is wired. For it just have the speaker wire just hanging in here i do have more of those clip speakers um i believe i have some rcw dash fives um i might put there and put the threes here or something like that and uh, i just haven't gotten around to putting them in because i don't have the power for them um the the, the speaker setup that i have um i've got seven speakers and i've got a five channel amp and then the two channels that i run off of the receiver to give me, well, I know that the, 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 the wattage on the receiver isn't really 200 watts. The amplifier is a lot closer to it. So these rear two speakers are run off the deck power. 
almost the same as the power for the rest of the five. But anyways, for these speakers, I just don't have the, the amplifier yet and I wanna add that down the road. And once I do, I'll put those speakers in. So these are just empty for now. And then back here, same thing, just the, just a speaker box with some other clip speakers uh, in, in, a, in a removable box. And uh, same thing with the magnets on here so that I can just put this in place. And, uh, and we're done with that. So the towers, there's nothing particularly fancy. There's acoustically, there's no advantage to these towers versus some other design. Um, the, the speaker placement, um, I tried to divide up the room the best I could with speakers in the back, speakers in the front. And so then with this wall, put it into thirds so that I can have the speakers in the middle. There may have been a better option to move them a little bit more, but when you've got a door coming into the room, that kind of messes up whatever kind of position you want. And I've got light switches. So really this area is kind of fixed in terms of size. So that means to make it symmetrical as much as I can, then I would like those two areas to be roughly the same size. So it looks symmetrical and looks like I was trying. <laughs> um, so uh, that's it for the speaker towers. Again, there's the, uh, I wish there was something more, more dynamic about them. Um, they, they serve a function. I think they look good. And uh, if I were to redo this room, I would definitely do something just like I built. For those of you that are looking to build a room, you don't need to have massive towers. You don't need to have massively deep towers. Obviously the speaker that you're gonna put in there is gonna dictate a lot of what you, uh, of what you can do. These speakers I have in here, they're actually in wall speakers. So they don't have a cabinet already. I have to make a cabinet for them, which is what that speaker box that I've got in there. Um, so they're already designed to be something that's sitting in between studs. So you've already got a, a speaker that's designed to be in a 16 inch spacing, actually 14 and a half inches. But, but then you would typically have the full height of the wall for the, the, the behind the speaker to, to use that area. And I'm only using just the, the speaker boxes. So could they be a little bit designed a little differently? Probably it could be, you could, some sort of, um, you could see an improvement on these speakers, I'm sure, if I built a little bit better box. But for this room, um, chasing that that one percent just isn't this isn't worth it. So I think for you guys that are looking to design something, take a look at the speakers you have and the room that you have, the area that you have to work in, and, and do what you can with it. Um, at the end, with the, how this room sounds, I think I, I came out on top with the way this works out for me. Um, I think it sounds really good and I might be biased, but uh, for what I had built and, and the budget that you have and the room that you have, this is probably where you um, probably meets all those, those criteria. So, all right, so that takes care of that. Uh, that, cover, that wraps up the, the speaker towers that I have in my room and how they're built and what they look like on the inside. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm happy to do another video to explain anything else that you wanna know about this room. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.